we're having a little uptown day on the Upper East Side. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping. We just got our Ralph's coffee. We're gonna go for a stroll through the park and then check out some shops. lunch on the Upper East Side. So we are staying at 11 Howard. This is our room. Super high windows. Great little view out on the city. And this is the bathroom. Super nice finishes. Little shower. And a great area of town, super close to everything. Hi guys, I think the last time we spoke was Monday. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to dinner with my friends tonight. We're going to the polo bar, which I've actually never been, so I'm really excited. I packed all my makeup in this bag. It's literally just from Sephora. Up here, I just have a bunch of my brushes. And here in the zippered pocket, I keep my lip liner, my brow pencil and everything. And then this area is a mess. When I first packed, it looked really great. Next time I travel, I will be sure to show you guys how I pack it neatly. But nonetheless, this is a great bag if you're looking for something to travel with all your makeup in. So I'll definitely link it below my makeup inspo for the evening so i'm actually gonna apply a little bit of this to my eyelids and just blend up and out so i'm gonna use a fluffy blending brush this is just a morphe m441 brush and get a little bit of this on here just fill the outside of my crease and pull it upwards and I'm actually going beyond my brow even. Next I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner with this Victoria Becca. I love this liner because it's very very soft. I'm really focusing it on the outer portion of my eye and then I'm going to take this brush and flick it up and outwards. Next, I'm going to go in with the YSL Beauty new mascara. This is their Lash Clash mascara. Then I'm going to go in with the Divine Rose shade. And put that kind of towards the back portion of my cheekbone. Because this is a little bit of a darker blush shade on me so I almost like to use it as a contour and then I'm gonna go in with another Pat McGrath blush that I brought this is the same type of blush the shade is Nymphette and you can see it's a little bit lighter than Divine Rose so I'm gonna put that really at the front of my cheek right here so it's kind of like you're contouring with blush. It's a little bit of an ombre effect. I'm gonna do a little bit of highlight. Usually I don't do any highlight, but sometimes when I'm going out in the evenings, it's nice. So I'm gonna use this and I'm really just gonna place that actually towards the front of my cheek right here. And then I'm gonna give actually 
just a quick wash of this on top of my eye. So these three lip liners from Charlotte Tilbury are kind of my go-to. Um, I'm gonna start off with the darker shade, which is Foxy Brown, which is just a brown liner. And then I'm going in with this more taupe color to really fill in the bottom of my lip. This is shade Iconic Nude. That's that, and then I think I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of this Pat McGrath lipstick. This is in shade Christy. It's like the perfect, perfect pink for me. I'm just gonna add a little bit to the center of my lips. And dab it in with my fingers. Yeah. That is perfect. It's giving Bella Hadid. All the products will be linked in the description. You're welcome. So these are the two bags that I got when we were having our little uptown day. Um, this is my new everyday bag. I'm so in love with it. I loved my Chloe but this is great because it doesn't have really any hardware other than this, which you really barely even see. So it's just gonna go with a lot more outfits. It's a lot more casual than the Chloe bag. Um, and then this is the Jody that I got, which I actually saw this on Instagram. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I need that bag. Like all of the other Jodys, I've been like, it's cute, whatever, but I already have the black pouch, so. It just felt like a redundant bag, but this, like the suede woven is just another level. So I had to get this. I am gonna be choosing an outfit. Honestly, I think I wanna wear this. I haven't worn it out yet and it just feels like the right time. So I'm gonna try to style something based on this. I always wear this bodysuit like all the time. I need to come up with a new outfit. So I actually brought I actually brought a bunch of clothes on this trip in preparation for having to go out to eat to a few nice dinners. So <laughs> the first culprit is this poster girl dress. I definitely regret buying this. It was such an impulse purchase and I think there are items on their website that are definitely a little bit cooler than this dress. It has a high neckline and um, it's black and like all my stuff is black. So I kind of wish I would have gotten one of their nude like short sets. But I think it's going to be way too cold for tonight. So she's out. This is a Babaton bodysuit that I got today actually from Aritzia. It's gray. It probably doesn't look gray right now. Um, but I'm thinking I could style this maybe with like a skirt or some dress pants. I don't know. So this is the outfit that I'm wearing tonight. My bodysuit is from Aritzia. Pants are from this Depop store. I'll link it down below. Shoes are actually nasty gal and they're so comfortable. One of my favorites. And then I'm wearing my new Bottega bag. Jewelry, I'll also link below. Earrings are Young Frank. I did a collaboration with them on my Instagram. And yeah, I'm gonna head out. to a nail appointment. I am headed to Gloss Labs here on Bleecker Street. So 
so yeah. And then me and my boyfriend are gonna head to Soho today and look at a few apartments. currently at the Met. We're doing the date night at the Met, which is really exciting. They're supposed to have like drinks and music maybe. Tonight it's in the American Wing, so yeah. I'm gonna put my mask back on and we're gonna go in. Guys, we're at the grill in Upper Side, right kind of below the park, Midtown. Midtown. They just brought me a hot tea because it's so cold in here. Got a little bread selection, this butter, which looks incredible. This restaurant is so stunning. Got our oysters. It's so dark in here. So this is what we're gonna do with this one. I'm gonna put all the bone in this staircase and dressing with this antique silver duck face. This antique silver duck face are from the year of 1901. Chef Mario Carbon, we found it in the antique store in New Orleans. Wow. So this place is originally from France. So after that, I'm going to press this bone, take the juice out, so that juice is going to be poured on the house, like egg and pasta. That's going to be finished with the Dijon and the Parmesan cheese, which is complete pasta on the plate coming to your table. So this is pasta a la press with uh, duck broth, basically. Um, that's what they were just pressing before this, and then this. What is that? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, babe. All right. Straight from Chef Mario Carbon. Okay. So I got the filet mignon. My boyfriend got the prime rib, which is pretty famous here. Then we have 
hash browns, spetzel with, with mushrooms, <laughs> um, more mushrooms, and a bottle of Opus One red wine. Filet mignon is 10 out of 10. Super flavorful. Absolutely perfect. Wow. Let's try to get a nice toast on that. gets too dark, kind of blow it out like a campfire bush. Awesome, thank you so much. So this is baked Alaska with a chocolate center. This is some sort of apple situation. 